bitches in my Motorola and I'm speeding like I robbed someone. Falling and I'm a whip, yeah. Out in flat flat, going hard in the pit, yeah. Yeah, I still ball in the pitch, yeah. Something wrong with the picture. Something is wrong with the way, and I don't know why. Why, why, why? Why you need to lie? All right, guys, so today is the day, and I'm getting my new car. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you guys with me. We're going to go to the dealership. We're going to do the paperwork, fill it out, and get my brand new car, which is not really brand new. It's a 2017 Buick Encore. So it's going to be real interesting, and I'm so excited for you guys to see and to come along with me. So let's get ready and get in this car. It's okay, and it's Kevin. He's gonna help me get my car today. I'm so excited. All right, catch up. Come down, come down. Let's see how much. Hey guys, this is my mom. I don't think she's been on my channel yet. Actually, yeah, in my video for um, what's it called? Um, for moving in. Mm -hmm. I forgot you were on there. That's my brother. Xavier, you want to make an appearance? That's oh. Xavier. Guys, what? Uh, we're in the dealership. How about fine. to sign your life away? How about that? Only five years, seven years, maybe eight. Seven years? Let's see who gives me the lowest amount of moon. Who gives me the lowest no amount of payment? Years. Nobody takes the lowest seven years. Why the hell That's not? That's a lifetime. Nope, not for not. a car. Get your middle name on it as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's like, Two hours later. Make sure you put that temporary one um, in your glove box. Yeah, put that in the glove box. And this kind of acts as your temporary, you know, restoration. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Got that on video, sorry. So Yeah, that replacement. <laughs> Okay. Did you find a bug? I couldn't find a bug. I'm so sorry. It, on the white car, it was so good. What happened? They wanted a bug. But they didn't have bugs. Especially for the effect. Yeah. I'm so sorry. You could go get a bow. We could do it. No, this is like a bug. We have Party City right over here. Yeah, and that's exactly right. I'm going to point you now. I'm going to get Or she started it. Who knows? Oh yeah, watch your step. There it is, right here. All yours. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Oh my god, I'm gonna put this in the window really quick. Yeah, but I don't want to ruin the moment. No, 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 you're fine. Okay. You're good. You gotta do a walk around. You're gonna have to blur out the plates. You can use a remote start, crazy.
It's like nice to you know have everything in your name. Like it feels yeah. really good to be it able to pay it off. Doing it by myself. Yeah. <gasps> it'll it'll be really good for like credit too. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's it right. Does it look here? Especially to like own your own car. Like that's just. Okay. We should probably do. We should probably do a thumbnail so you can start recording. Let's do thumbnails. I'm already right. taking pictures, bro. Oh, say less. <laughs> Of course, you're the absolute best. You guys are like. Bye, Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Have a good day at work. It's so cute. Do a little tour. No, just look at the backpack. Did it all go through? Yeah, you're all good. Sounds good. Um, you're the best. Thank you so Congrats. much. Thank you. Can I get a pick with you? Oh, yes. A little selfie action. Mary, leave the door open. My keys are in there. Mm-hmm. Congrats. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Get yeah, cold. you're the best. I hope your day's not too boring. There's a lot of people in there now. There's so, so many people. I <laughs> Why is everybody buying a car? What's happening here? I, the fact that people are in, like, people, two people bought a car yesterday. Like, came in and bought a car yesterday. Are you kidding? How absurd. I'm like, <laughs> why on earth are you not at home? Right. Um, All right, guys. So now I'm home and I've decided on a name for him. So, guys, come meet Esteban. Oh, so pretty. He is a 2017 Buick Encore, baby. What's popping? I'm so excited. And honestly, I did this all by myself. That just makes it even more satisfying and all. So this is Esteban, and we're gonna take a look at him a little more in depth right now. Okay, so like I said before, I have a 2017 Buick Encore. This is a preferred two model, and I'm really excited because it comes with some cool stuff. So this is what the key looks like, this key fob. It's a push to start, so I'm very excited. It's to unlock, you lock with this, and this is to do something really, really cool, which I'm about to show you guys. So you hit this, hit it twice, Right? No. Oh, it has to be. No. Shit. Okay, while I figure out how to do the remote start, we'll use that later on. I will figure that out. But so it comes with the unlock. So you lock it once to unlock just the front door, and the second time to unlock all the rest of them, which is really cool which is fun but also the cool thing about this is i'm gonna lock it again is that it's the keyless entry so even if the key is on my person i can sit here press this button and the car opens and it will lock straight away too what i like about it too is though i could do it on all four doors so that's really cool i like that a lot so that's really it on this side and now we're just going to go to we'll do this side so this is all cool it's the same thing as the other side with the keyless entry and all it's fine this is closed sorry guys i don't have someone else recording me what i like about this though i don't know what it is with the cars that you have to like open the hatch for gas from the inside but this one you don't this one is just a click and you open and the gas tank is right there so that's the other side and now we are going to do the trunk okay so with this there's no um like button or anything so we kind of just open and yeah i like this little cover thing that we got going on here but i don't know if i'm gonna keep it per se which usually if it's hooked up it would be hooked to go up with the car like that but it wasn't hooked on i'm probably not gonna use it i'm not quite sure yet so but it's an okay decent like little backspace there are little scratches on here but it's fine and honestly this is just a trunk which is really cool i think 
um it has some secret compartments like this you can open up to store stuff this is a little storage area as well it has the light it's a little dirty mm. a little dirty but you know all right guys so we're gonna start here at the door this is the open obviously these are to do the windows so right now it's in the middle so when i do left or right it's gonna fix the mirrors and all for that these are the power windows this is the child lock window lock and unlock the door this is the automatic for the lights and this power i don't really know what this is that's fine i don't know what that is either oh okay that's just for the lights as well this is my steering wheel it's so cute this is where all the cruise control is this is all the audio controls that stuff's fun it's really cute the whole buick sign all of that so here is the display and when i do projection this does come with apple carplay and android auto just in case anybody was curious if anyone wanted to know this is to bring you to home which is this to go in between and this is the back button this is power so so it's a power down system, you hold it down and then it's just turn off the volume if you want. Now we're gonna move down here. This comes with dual climate control. So this is for like my side. Right now they're synced. Oh no, they're not. No, so this is for dual climate control. This is to where the vents are going to um, push and all. So I'm it's towards my feet. And these are car buttons this is to bring up the heat or the cooling but that's off right now and all this is to defog the front windows the back windows this is for the passenger side and all passenger airbags my hazards and down here i just have this is where you put in the android auto or carplay so this is a 12 volt for that and then i just have also the um aux cord well not aux cord but usb where i plug that in for Apple CarPlay. And that's a little cute compartment. Then I have my Prindle! Uh, even though I don't really know. It's not a Prindle anymore because P R N D M for manual. And this is manual capabilities. These are to help with the manual shifters and all. That's cool. I got a parking brake. You know. So that's cool as well. Put that back down. Cup holders it doesn't really come with the a lot of space for the middle but it's fine and i have this armrest which is cool now this passenger side i have a whole bunch of stuff in here but nothing really too crazy on this side just has manual in it for right now because i just bought the car today and actually one very good fun fact i really really like about this car is that this has an under the seat compartment if i want to like hide stuff and all which is under there you can put the seat back and all um oh this also has the coin holder here which i don't know if i'm gonna keep coins in here but that is and what i do like about this car is that it has three compartments on the side so I, like i have a big water bottle that i can probably put here and then there's like this little mini size one and there's one that's right here in that but yeah that's really off of the front and we're gonna move to the back now except this visor up here that's me hi but yeah visor two lights what i'm very upset about with this car though is that it does not have a sunglass holder up here so i'm very low-key upset about that but i use my sunglasses all the time that's probably why and then this is the lights 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 that's a light turn it off you know um then i can just turn that one on that one on turn that off and this is for the middle do that and then there's this one as well nothing really too too crazy so now we're gonna move to the back and i'm gonna show you so now cool. moving into the back seat it's just some standard stuff so now it's the three little pockets also over here and this way for the back of the seats this one is the full cover and this one is the net so that's really cool these are just the seats the middle you just got two cup holders nothing too shabby but a really cool feature about this car i don't know if it's good or bad yet is the fact that to pull these seats down 
is all right do this i need two hands for this so i'll put in a clip to do that. but moving on two trunk space okay anywho so this is the back of my car and it's not a power lift gate which i'm not really upset about because that wasn't really a deal breaker so i just lift it up and i have some space back here too it's i have a little compartment here where i can hide some few stuff and then on this side i don't want to break my nail but on this side there's a whole storage area over here i got some hooks on either side and then if you pull this up you have the jack just in case you need to move the um just in case you need to do the wheel just in case you have a flat tire or anything and there's also excess storage under here so that's really cool it's kind of spacious and this is just a cover to cover like the stuff in the back of your car if you want it or not honestly i don't know if i'm gonna use it but it is pretty easy to just lift up as well if you don't want it You can take that out too and actually i saw that this can double as like stuff to just keep it in place and stuff like that but i'm gonna show you guys how to do the back seat as well just so you can see it's really cool so we're gonna come around this yeah. my sister sucks at recording actually so in here to put the seats down so you have more space there's a flap on the bottom and you just pull and this is a 40-60 seat, so these two go, and then you just push this down, and it comes down flat. Oh. And you do the same thing for the other side. Oh. And that comes down flat as well, so you have a lot more space in here. Just to sit here. And just in case you need to store anything so if you take this out now you have a lot of space and this car is actually really cool that you can actually also put down the right passenger side seat but i can't do that right now because i have a mountain of snow on one side of my car so i'm not gonna do that right now but that's really cool too and just to put it back up it's just pull it back up pull the seats and just close it that's really it